since Moodle version 2.8 or 2.9 was it, this new check has started showing up in Moodle environment, unsupported database table format, showing that a uh, few tables in the Moodle are on previous or old antelope format and they are recommended to be converted into new Barracuda file format, which is a compressed version. So for most of the people, just to let you know, this is a recommended check, not even required. So your Moodle will still run fine without conversion. But in case if you're running a large Moodle site, then restoring a course may uh, show up errors. So this conversion will get rid of those errors. Additionally, uh, people like me who prefer seeing everything green in environment checks may like to convert their tables from Antelope to Barcode as well. So I will show you in this tutorial how to convert your tables from Antelope to Barracuda in a Windows Server environment. I'm using the same server that I've used to set up in my tutorial of setting up Moodle on Windows Server. So those who want to uh, view the tutorial can find a link in my blog post. So what I'm going to do is going to open my command prompt. And in case if you are not logged in as administrator, you may want to right click and click run as administrator, but I am already logged in as admin. So I'm just going to simply click my command prompt and it will open my command prompt for me. From there, I'm going to go into my PHP folder. Again, reminding those who have seen my previous tutorial of setting up Moodle server will know what I am actually referring to. So, Essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my directory in my command prompt to my PHP directory and my PHP directory is on my root folder I'm going to PHP and my PHP files are within PHP 703x64. So I'm going to give a path change directory C colon slash. Now you can use even backslash or forward slashes. It's up to you. Both will work. So php slash php 73x64 which is essentially my php folders holding my php files press enter and now i'm inside my php folder which is this one and from there i'm going to run a command giving a path to my moodle admin cli let me show you files as well Going into inetpub, calling root, this is my Moodle folder. Going into admin, CLI, I'm going to give path to this file, my SQL compressed rows. So I'm going to type here php c colon inetpub calling root and Moodle slash admin slash CLI slash my SQL underscore compressed underscore rows PHP and I'm going to give a switch hyphen list press enter and it will start showing me all the tables that needs conversion from antelope to barracuda now depending on your Moodle and what activities you have uh, enabled this may be different so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same command the only difference will be I'm going to use F switch which means fix so writing F instead of L, pressing enter and it will convert my tables from antelope to barracuda and let me quickly go into my Moodle and refresh my screen to see if this has actually converted and now I don't see my message of table conversion. 
in case if this uh, fix command shows error all you have to do is because I am installed uh, MariaDB going into Heidi SQL selecting my username going into variables go to my tables in ODB file format and in ODB file format max currently mine is showing Barracuda but uh, probably if you are getting error in fixing the tables you will have until up here so just double click it and it will be like that antelope so just convert into barracuda in case of both press ok and uh, do the same for you know db file format underscore max as well and then run the same fix command and it will convert your tables from antelope to barracuda and this is about it wasn't so difficult thank you for watching the video and i hope you will be able to convert your table file format from antelope to barracuda without any issues.